okay so first of all uh, we were done with the ionic character okay so uh, let's move toward the next topic that is solubility after that before that we are having a that topic is that the effects of bonding on physical and chemical properties okay so we are having a bond between a molecule or you can say that between a compound so uh, there are many physical and chemical effects on a substance like you can say that solubility what does it mean it means that the the interaction process interaction process between solute and solvent i'll be telling you what is solute and solvent the next property is the melting point as you guys all know what is melting point boiling point okay and the rate of reactions that is happening so uh, these are many uh, effects on the bonding uh, because of the physical and the chemical properties so this is interaction between the solute and the solvent what is solute mean solute means that the the smaller part of molecule smaller part of molecule that means that we can take that as a sugar and if you're talking about the solvent so what does it mean it means that solvent means the higher part of molecule let's take the example water okay so there are two factor of solubility okay so there are two factor and these two factor are divided into the hydrophobic hydrophobic character and hydrophilic so what does it mean it means that the hydrophobic character means that the that means that it is a water lover okay what does it mean it means that the anything that dissolve in the that is hydrophilic that is hydrophobic that is hydrophilic anything that dissolve anything that dissolve in water like between solute you can take solute and solvent we are taking one solvent and we are taking one oh, a solvent that can easily dissolve that is called the hydrophilic character okay the solution will occur and they can easily dissolve the solute and solvent if you are talking about hydrophobic that means that they are you can say that they are the water to heat what does it mean it means that it means that the no solution will occur between the solute and the solvent particle <coughs> why let's take an example that is you can say that <clears throat> for example c6h6 okay plus hoh so they are having a partial charges what is having a partial charges so this is as you can see this is polar because of partial charges and this is non polar okay so if they are making a solution they cannot cannot dissolve in them that is called the hydrophilic okay so the solubility is having a two properties that is solute and solvent solute means to be dissolved and solvent means to be dissolved the solute okay so 
so if you're talking about that uh, we are having a property that is uh, like dissolve like what does it mean it means that like dissolve like it means that the polar will dissolve in polar and non polar into polar here you can see that was one was polar and second was non polar so it is like it was not dissolved okay so always polar will be dissolving in the polar and non polar will be dissolving in a non polar <coughs> let's take another example that is uh, they are uh, is a molecule oil and there is a molecule that is benzene take an example and this is non polar this is also non polar as as here i i said you guys that non polar will be dissolved non polar but this 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 is also having a no charges and this is also having a no charges okay so <coughs> this will be not hydrophobic or hydrophilic why because there will be the force of attraction between them force of attraction between them what does it mean it means they are in the force of attraction of the covalent bond they are having a mutual sharing to each other and they are in the attraction force that is the covalent because of the covalent bond so there are many type of the thing that is hydrophobic hydrophilic and they are both if this is there is a molecule that is not hydrophobic and hydrophilic that can be that can be having a covalent bond that can be ionic bond so there are many things okay <clears throat> so if you're talking about this was uh that means hydrophilic uh, means that they are polar polar can dissolve if you're talking about hydrophobic so <clears throat> hydrophobic you can say that uh, if you're talking about the <coughs> hydrophobic so hydrophobic means the non polar polar non polar polar so that cannot dissolve easily okay so <coughs> they are many character mode that the high polar dissolve low polar low polar Okay, and non-polar will be dissolved in non-polar polar into polar, as you guys all know. So this was some solubility character of uh, the effects of bonding on the physical and the <coughs> chemical properties like solubility, melting point, boiling point. So we, today we have discussed the solubility, and as you guys all know, what is melting point and boiling point? Okay, what is boiling point? Boiling point is that a compound that is in the gaseous state. that is the boiling point and melting point as you guys all know that a compound that starts melt so that is a melting point and there are many characteristics like solubility melting point boiling point and other rate of reactions as well so this is what it was so today's topic was about the solubility and the two factors of the solubility